Hello and welcome to Oddscale Modelling and welcome to part four of our London bus build by Ravel. So uh, if you haven't already, go back and have a look at the playlist and you can go back and watch the unboxing and all the way up to where we're at now if you've missed the previous videos. And if uh, you haven't also already, don't forget that subscribe button, the thumbs up, if you can think of any comments or anything you'd want to put down below, let me know. That'd be great. Okay, so let's look at where we're up to. So in the last video, we got the part of the floor painted, other parts all um, masked up, ready for the wood. And we're just waiting on the paint. We also um, had to do all the frames, seat frames, which I have finally got them done. There they are, 436 of them, all. Um, trimmed up all the bits of sprue trimmed off them tidied up a lot of work there all that is what came off in excess bits of sprue and stuff amazing <laughs> so they're done what i'm thinking of doing now is putting them all on clips and getting them at least undercoated um, they're all going to be done in chrome Okay, now I know the instructions say to do them a silver. But all my reference photos I've looked at, they're all chrome, including the uh, handrail you hold on to at the top. It's all chrome, so I'm going to do it chrome. There's also, for example, if I look at the instructions here, where was it? There was one I was going to show, this part here. So... There's lots of areas inside the bus that need to be done uh, aluminium colour, all right, silver. And on those, in some of those areas, are handrails, particularly around the back. So I'm doing all the handrails throughout the bus, all chrome, okay? And the aluminium stripping that's on the red on the panels of the bus, I'm going to do them in an aluminium colour. But I'm not too sure... Because it's going to be difficult to um, brush, uh, to paint them and even brush paint them, I'm going to have a look at a few options of some pens, uh, whether it be Sharpie pens or Posco pens like these that I've used before. Yeah, I need to get some silver, aluminium looking colour, not chrome. Yeah, to apply it because I want to get a nice, neat job of it. So that's that. Um, so they're all ready to go. The, the seats themselves are all done. They're all ready and um, they're ready to be primed and painted and after that deckled. So quite a lot to be done. <laughs> but again, I'm still waiting on the paints. Um, Outlaw Paints and Jason have uh, Jason got back to me and they've made up the special mix of the London Red. Uh, paint that matches correctly along with the interior crimson type of red so all going by the numbers and it's all good so it's um, being sent out and should be uh, here in a couple of days so looking forward to that all right I will get going now and start uh, doing a bit more and we'll come back when I've progressed a bit a bit further okay we'll be back shortly hey welcome back just a bit of an update uh -huh. I found out that um, the reason I didn't put these on before, these are the supports under the chairs, is because I thought they might interfere with putting on the uh, frames, but they don't, which is great. So what I'm doing is I've cut them all off, just trimming them all up. They don't need much. There was only one connection point. Thank you, Ravel, for that. <laughs> and just a matter of doing that and then uh, and gluing them onto their points on the seat there. So I'm just going to go through and do that for all of the 36 chairs. And the reason being that they can be painted on there because they're going to be the same uh, same colour as the rest of the chair. So might as well do it rather than doing them all separately. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm continuing on. Uh, good news also, the um, paint will be arriving um, probably on Tuesday, Monday if I'm lucky. I uh, just got a notification from the post from Outlaw Paint saying that uh, it's been... Uh, it's shipped and on its way, so great news there. All right, I shall continue on back shortly. Hey, welcome back again. So I've just jumped in to show you the seats are all um, 
ready to go, ready to paint. I've uh, stuck all the uh, supports on the bottom there, so they're all ready to go as well. And I'm going to go prime these now. Just a tip so you know, if you use a toothpick or whatever you want to call it, cocktail stick, uh, you just cut the end off there, just the point off, and that it'll fit in there and tightly, which is the connection point where the frames go, and hold it for you. No need for clips or anything, and you can pretty much spray the whole thing and not have to worry about any touch-ups. So there you go, get them all done. So I'm going to go and uh, coat these in undercoat now. And then, uh, well, um, if I have enough uh, bake, uh, um, primer left, I'll come in and do all the frames, which are also ready to do. Okay, which obviously I don't can't put them on toothpicks, but I've got a ton of these clips for them. So there you go. All right, back with a bit more progress shortly. Okay, so while those parts are drying, <laughs> And while I'm run out of uh, clips, so I've got to do these ones after at least some of them dried so I can get the clips and, and do these seat frames. But in the meantime, while paint dries, we've got to get on with something else, don't we? So we will jump down to step 18 is why we've already done as much as I can before I can paint. Uh, 19 is just putting the wheels on. I don't know whether I'll do that or not at this stage, but we'll see. Um, Paints, wheels have to be, rims have to be painted as well. So we'll go to 20. And 20 is the beginning of the uh, driver's compartment. Uh, and it goes for quite a few steps. 20, 21, uh, which is the console, uh, dashboard. Then we've got the floor, steering wheel, uh, some of the walls on the side, um, steering wheel attaching gear stick, all this going down. And then all the sides being connected. It's, it's basically built as a complete separate module uh, that will be placed on the bus way ahead in step 36. So we can start on this, and uh, I think we have um, a, a choice of paint we can do, at least prime. We'll get all the parts off, get them all ready. It looks like there's a question mark there about the color on the seat. Um, there are decals to go on the seat and the backrest which I'm assuming would be the same fabric material as the rest of the seats in the bus. But the colour of the seat where it's not covering is optional going by this. I had a quick look. There was a um, uh, F, which turns out to be a NATO blackish colour. Um, if you go by the instructions, the F would actually be black, silky, matte. They're just a flat black. But then there's also the option of using B, which is um, black, silky. Did I just say that? Silky matte, B. Yeah, and F. Oh, they're basically the same thing. Although F is the silky matte black with dark grey, 50%, 50%. Barely no difference, really. Um, and then there's also the option of M, and M comes in at... Uh, What's that? Fiery red. Total different contrast. I'll go back to reference photos and see what I can do. But I'm thinking it's going to be something that's along the lines of a, an iron colour. You know, dark grey. We'll see. Anyway, let's start on 21. Uh, Matt, uh, step 20 and get some of these parts off. And welcome back. So I've painted up uh, the back wall behind the driver here. and um, the little box there that needs to be a silver or metallic grey, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hand brush that. Um, I'm pretty confident, no problem at all. Um, this is the support for the seat. A couple of little like bolts along the top there. I might just touch them with a bit of silver. Good contrast in there. And that will get glued onto there. That's the support for the seat. Yep, like I said. <laughs> And I've done the seats in the black for the frame of the driver's seat. And I've got some uh, clear, which I'll put on when it's dry, um, just so the decal will go down easier for the seat cover. Okay. Now, you'll notice that is a gloss clear. That won't be the final um, clear coat because I don't want that uh, seat covering glossy because it's a material. So it'll be a flat clear for the final coat on top of the decal. Okay, 
Okay, um, I'll continue on and uh, I'll be back in a sec. Hey, welcome back again. So I put my first decal on and we've done the back of the driver's seat there. And it's looked good. It's still drying, of course, but I can tell you it takes a lot of work. That probably took me 15 minutes to get that to set down. So what I've discovered is these decals are quite thick, which is, I guess it's a good thing. But boy, do they take a lot of uh, soaking. I'm using Mark Fit Strong here and um, placing it down and then just brushing them on using these icky sticky micro applicators just to get around the edges um, and get especially these corners here. They've got to fold down. Um, they're great decals. They're just very uh, rigid, I guess that's the word for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so going by how long that took, <laughs> doing 37 seats is going to take a long time um, but anyway so here's the base the seat for the cushion that you're going to sit on uh, it's a lot bigger than the actual piece which I've actually gone and put a clear coat over uh, I was just concerned that this stuff can be quite strong and I didn't want to put it straight on bare paint um, so I clear coated it and once that dries then it doesn't matter how much I use of this it'll be fine you really got to soak it and soften it up maybe one of the things i did was i once i dipped it in here and sat it on the um, towel it i waited until it was loose and then i slid it straight onto here i think i should let that wait a bit longer and let it soften longer um, before i move it onto there but they're good solid decals and they you know no problems it's not going to rip or anything like that um, they just take a bit to settle in. So I'll go ahead and get this one on the other, on the seat, and I'll bring that over and I'll be able to connect that on there. And then we'll have a look and see how they came up and I'll let you know how that one went. Now, one other thing I've done is I've taken this piece off the sprue, and this is the side of the bus. Now, there is the other side, which is also off, and there's that one there. And it's fine. You look at this, this is... You know, it's nice, it's straight, it's 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 fine, it's good. But this one, unfortunately, this has got like a twist in it. You can see the angle that's at. Look at that. You know, it's like an S shape. And it's also like this as well. Okay. Hard to see on the camera, but you can see what I mean. Look at the the bend. Now I tried to put this in some hot water, not boiling water, but hot water. And tried to straighten it a bit. I, I used a metal ruler, like like this one here. See, and I clamped that on there to get it in the straight position. That didn't make any difference. Um, I tried to bend it and get it to get a bit more straightness out of it, <laughs> and uh, made no difference at all. So yeah, you can see there, this it's a bit of a concern because. This, this, especially this part here, the only thing supporting that would be the roof, which is removable anyway, and it's not glued to it. So the roof is going to be difficult to even fit on there. Um, so if anyone's got any suggestions on how I can uh, make a job straighten that, uh, be nice if you could let me know in the comments because um, it's something I've got to sort of work out now. You can see the the uh, the twist in that plastic. I think it was the way the mould has been pulled off. Uh, the the sprue has been pulled out of the mould a bit too hard or too early or something, and it's just bent this large piece on there. The other one's fine. All right. Anyway, I shall continue on. And yeah, if you could maybe if you know anything in the comments, let me know how to straighten that. That'd be good. All right. I'll be back shortly. Okay, back again, and let's have a look at what we're up. What we're at so what i've done is i've finished the seat there it is with the decal on there it's come up really nice uh, i've done it in a just a flat clear as i said i was going to do so all went okay the decal is a bit tricky to get on it certainly takes a lot of manipulation and i think the rest the rest of the seats are more flat there's not going to be so much overlap that's going to any problem but there you go they've come up really well i've just clear coated that so i'm letting that dry um, 
where it goes, the wall, you'll see I've got a special bit of bag, plastic bag here, because I'll show you why. So in here we go. So here's where our seat will mount on here. So this is the back wall behind the driver. Now at this stage here, that glass needed to be put in. So now the back, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be painted because there's a panel that covers that that's um, separate. We build up this whole compartment. So once I patch, attach the seat to there when it's completely dry, um, this is all fine. Now one little tip I'll give you, this piece here that goes on for the mounting for the back of the seat, it's best to uh, um, attach that after you put the glass in because there's not much space behind. I did manage to just trim it out a little bit with a knife in there so I'd have enough clearance. But the glass sits in tight and I use my MIG ammo canopy glue around there which is invisible to um, to do that and uh, yeah a little bit of uh, just silver on the detail there and uh, it's all good so that the reason I'm keeping that in a bag because I have a tr terrible dust problem here and <laughs> I got carpet I got pollution I got yeah just can't avoid it so I thought of these zip type bags I'm going to keep it in there airtight to keep the dust off there we go and each component I'll just drop in there when it's done but I don't think they all need glass but some will all right so um yeah now so what I'm doing now is I'm moving on to the next step which is step 21 and in step 21 we're working on the um, the dashboard pretty much now a lot of these parts and I'll show you really I don't want to lose them they're so small I just knocked them a bit there here they are here and there's our dashboard the driver's compartment there's uh, quite a bit of photo etch to be added to this as well not only painted mostly uh, the same metal black as the rest that we saw on the wall and the back but this has to be done a lot of photo etch um, there's parts here that we need to take off surface detail around here and on top and replace with photo etch I'll show you that now this out of this to the side and we'll have a look uh, there's our photo etch so up here there's this part here I'll try and get this so you can see it it's too bright be back in one second okay that's a bit better so um, yeah so basically here so that surface detail needs to be uh, removed quite simple just sand that off and then we've got three components to be made up labeled uh, a b and c here and when they're put together with all the photo etch there they are they're getting put into place so a nice bit of detail on the dash there and um, that's it then that moves on to the floor when we get to that there's quite a lot as you can see where the steering wheel goes the steering wheel and the steering column has a lot of work the brake handles all replaced all this photo etch yeah so that driver's compartment's going to look really really fantastic right up through to the windscreen wipers here uh, some of the vents fantastic but one thing at a time so uh, we'll get on to uh, getting some photo etch off and uh, taking some some of the plastic off for that and uh, yeah I'll catch up as we go along be back in a second okay back with uh, the detail all taken off um, quite easy I think this here is a little like a little file I have here a little chisel and I think it's Tamiya I'm not sure I can't remember There's nothing written on it make short work of taking that off no problem at all and um, yeah there's no sign of any anything left so that's all off on the top of that um, dashboard now we just got to do the photo etch parts okay so the photo edge parts I showed you before there they are here we got a b c three sets to make up yeah i'll start taking that off the sprue there's where they'll attach uh, no problem more it looks quite simple i know it's a bit you saw it before it's a bit too bright okay i'll get these parts off and um, we'll be back and have a look a bit further 
All right, so there's our console with all the photo etch on. Um, no problems, easy, very straightforward. And uh, I'm going to go paint this now. And um, that's going to be done in the uh, same color as the rest of the uh, driver's compartment in the metal black. And there are a few little spots in here we need to do other colors. There's a, a bit of, I think it's red in there and some gray. And I might have a look at, there's some, looks like some wires running down through there too. So there might be a bit of extra detail worth spending the time trying to get done. It's a bit hard to see there, sorry. But um, yeah, so I'll go undercoat this now and then I'll come back and see what we're going to get on to next. Okay, welcome back again. Um, so while the dashboard is uh, painted up and drying from in the metal black, we'll move on to the next step because there's a little few other bits to touch up on that, but otherwise that'll be done. So we'll, we'll get that back out when I'm touching up, adding a few things. Meantime, step 22 is the floor. And the floor has quite a bit of photo etch as well, and there's some bits to be removed. So what I've got is I've taken off the parts required. This one looks like a fire extinguisher. Uh, I want to apologize for the quality of video before. Uh, I didn't realize there were, uh, some stupid setting happened. I don't know when, and I don't know what I did, but I ended up hitting default, and it came up clearer. And now you should be able to see this a bit clearer, so hopefully things are better. All right, so I've taken all these off. Um, there's our, it looks like our accelerator pedal and maybe the brake or clutch um, but they're in photo etch anyway I discovered later so we won't be needing them we'll just keep them for now then we've got this which looks like a fire extinguisher so we'll, we'll keep that that will also have a decal on it and it's going to be done bright red and uh, silver at the top and the floor itself well we need to get some parts off this will be actually painted uh, F in the instructions and that would be a black silky mat whatever that is I'll, I'll figure that out everything else is iron uh, metal black on the wall so we'll see might do like a a, a light a dark gray but anyway photo etch for this floor I'll bring this in so this is where we start doing, we've crossed off the dash, that's all done. Number six is all of this, all the way down to there. And it starts off with removing one, two, three, those little raised bits on there, they get taken off. And then we'll go straight down to, um, we'll skip the gear stick because that's, or well, the brake, that's the brake, we'll stick leave that because that's a few steps away this part here i'm not even sure what that is but we're going to we want to get everything on here before, so i can paint it so down the bottom there there's a piece of photo etch there there's a piece in there and there's where our d and e are that's our accelerator and brake in there yeah that's all that needs to be done on that floor section to be painted okay so we need to go straight to that skip all that we'll come back to that yeah, and like I said, it's quite uh, confusing. You've got to be careful you don't miss anything. Um, the next step will be the steering wheel and the steering column. It's there, but that's way off yet. But even when that we do get to that, there's quite a lot, um, a lot involved in doing that as well. Okay, so uh, these last two pictures just show two different angles of it finished. So it's really just this and all that. <laughs> yeah. Easy. All right. Okay. I'll um, take these pieces off and we'll get my little chisel, I guess you'd call it, and uh, take them off. And uh, yeah, that looks fine. There's a mesh sort of effect on there. We don't have to worry about doing any damage to that because there's a whole photo etch piece that replaces and goes and sits over the top of that completely. Okay. I shall continue on. Be back soon. Hey, back again, just putting the photo etch on. Um, this piece here I haven't glued down yet, but um, what I suggest, suggest to do is you've got to build, drill a two millimeter hole in here, 
um, that's what this is here and uh, I find I think it's going to be easy to do it after it's already drilled in rather than trying to line it up where you want so I'll glue that in place first and I've already test fitted it slips through the photo etch fine so that'll be simple to drill afterwards you know it's exactly where it should be this piece here is also a nice bit of detail that will go on there and go around the outside of it so that's going to look really nice that part there was actually bent yeah, so that was actually bent on my, um, you would have seen my unboxing, but it's straightened up, no problem. So I'm really happy with that. Um, then we've got this piece here, and that's just going to glue straight onto there. Pretty much, uh, it's just going to go on like that. Okay, so look at all that. Oh, I've sanded all that down, got those uh, bits of plastic that needed to come off. They're all done. And that's uh, good. Now the dashboard, oh, there's also the, the brake and accelerator, which we don't use. We'll be doing photo etch, and that'll go in there. And that's um, photo etch for those parts. I'll make those up shortly and get those on. But here's our dashboard painted up. See how that looks. That's come up really nice. And that's all being done in the um, uh, metal black. So... Now it needs a bit of detail work. There's a, little, there's a certain little spot in there. I can't remember where. It needs a bit of uh, lighter grey. And I think there's a piece that's red. There's a like a handle of a button there that looks like it's got to be red. Maybe some other detail I might do as well. This looks like wires. Bits in there look like wires running through. Uh, might be able to do that silver. Uh, same with that piece running out there. Might do that uh, silver as well. We'll see. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll detail that up. So, I'm glad that's dried. Yeah. All right. I'll do these bits. We'll come back and have a look at them shortly. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So, let's have a look where I've got. I've got some great news. I've got this painted. The floor's all done. A little accelerator and brake pedal there um, that's come up really nice and then I did the fire extinguisher I've got that all done it looks pretty good so that's all complete um, good news paint came we've got paint now so what we've got now is that so we've got our London bus interior red that's the darker one. All right. Look at that. It's even outlaw, outlaw paints. Jason even put the uh, bus on the label. Isn't that, isn't that good? And there's our London red. London bus red. Now, these are mixed up to match the actual colors of the bus. All right. So, and of course, the interior roof. We've got the London bus interior cream for the roof. Look at that. Really nice. So now that we've got these, we can do some painting, which I'm happy about. Also got some clear. We got some satin clear, gloss clear, and um, flat clear, which I just used now because uh, first thing I wanted to do was paint the rims. So if we have a look at the rims, I've also got some more um, a primer as well, both uh, black and grey. So we're all set. So here's our rims. Let's see how they came up. So these were done in the black primer. Then I've done the red, which was this one, the darker one, because that's the colour they are. I've checked with reference photos. And then I did a flat clear over the top and uh yeah they look great look at that all right so they're done i've just clear coated them so i'm going to let them dry and then i'll be able to put the uh tires on and while that's happening um i will flat clear the floor then we can put the fire extinguisher in and uh 
probably flat key, although I might uh, let that be a little bit shinier. So I might uh, do that in a satin clear for the dash. And uh, then the next thing we're going to work on will be, yeah, so the next thing we're going to do will be the um, the seats. We need to do all the rail railings, I guess you'd call them, the supports around here. And these all have to be done in chrome. And for that, I've got plenty of gloss black, which I'll spray them in. And then we've got our chrome. We'll get them all chromed up. And this bit of extra 100 mils of red, so we're not going to run out of red for the bus. In fact, this will come in handy for the next build I'm going to do, which I might talk about on our live stream. So don't forget, uh, Friday's my live stream. Uh, catch up on where we're at all right i'll get on to this and uh i'll come back and we'll have probably this on here and that's finished and we'll make a start on these okay we'll be back in a sec hey okay, there's the floor done with the fire extinguisher in all looking good so i'll put that aside i also did the gauge there i put a little bit of my um MIG ammo canopy glue in there, so it's like a glass finish. So nice little touch. Now I'm just going to finish off. I've started doing the black on the seat frames. I'll continue on with the rest of them and then uh, we'll have a look at them before I put the chrome on. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So let's have a bit of an update of where I've what I've done is I've finished the wheels. So there's our wheels all painted up and clear coated. They come up really nice and they really do look like the right color very precisely. So fantastic. So they've come up really well. What I've also done is I've painted all the frames. I'll put a picture up here in the corner. So all these seat frames are all painted in the gloss black. Just let them dry for a bit longer, then I'm going to uh, chrome paint them, which will be with this one here, it's the Apple Paints Chrome. Okay, let me just adjust the color here. It seems a bit bright on the video. We'll be back in a sec. There we go. That looks a bit better. So there's our Chrome with that. And that's going to go beautiful over that black, um, gloss black frames for all the backs of the seats. So that's next on the line. And of course, I've managed to do the floor finally so let's have a look at that haven't done this very long ago so there it is there so i'm about to take off the masking tape that protected all the sides that were done in aluminium including the seats here so uh yeah come up really really nice and uh that that of course that's all covered up in there because this is all wood going to go down there we've got all the wood flooring on there so that'll be um, going on the bare plastic all right so yeah it's coming along real well so what i'll do is i'll finish off this video now because i've got quite a bit of painting to do uh, in the next video we'll take a look at at getting the uh, seats themselves painted up which will be painted this color um, of course there'll be deck there's decals to go over them as well so they'll need to be um, probably yeah clear coated as well and then the decals go on and then a matte clear over the top and uh yeah we'll come back see how this came up and uh yeah fantastic it's going along real well all right so i'll finish it up here i uh, look forward to seeing you all in part five um, don't forget on fridays uh, you can catch me on the live stream and uh catch up with what i'm up to and and have a good chat with us all right so uh, thank you all. Uh, the usual links are down in the description for all the icky sticky products and the Outlaw paints. Uh, by the time you'll be watching this, the Outlaw paints will be available now um, anywhere you are in the UK. And uh, you would have had Telford by now, the big model show over there where the uh, Outlaw paints was launched. And uh, yeah, very good. And, and again, there they are there. The custom labels that they made up for me fantastic a smaller one 
30 mil, 100 mil. I won't run out of red. Then we've got our color for the interior for the roof. Looking real nice. And the darker red, which I just sprayed on here, is still in the other room. But I need to do. All right, guys. Thank you all. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.